Hi, welcome to this Corporate Mars video. In this video, we're going to look at the video solutions to the measuring lines and drawn lines practice questions. If you need any extra help on either of those topics, if you scroll down, there's two QR codes. So you can scan either one of those QR codes and it'll bring you straight to the video tutorial on those topics. Okay, let's get started. Now, one thing I want to point out just before we begin is that if, for instance, you've printed your this worksheet as two sheets per one sheet, obviously the measurements will be a bit different. So just be aware of that. So question number one. Question number one says, Mikel is measuring the length of the line AB. So here's the line AB, and he's measuring the length of this line, and he's using the ruler. And Mikel says the line is 10 centimeters long. Explain why Mikel is, is incorrect. Now, if you have a look at the ruler, you might be thinking, well, it goes to 10. He might be, he must be correct. But if if you ever look at the beginning of the line, the beginning of the line has to start at zero, but it actually starts at one. So his line AB, the line AB, starts at one and goes to 10. So actually, in fact, it's only nine centimeters long because it's gone from one to 10. So why is he incorrect? Well, he should put the zero at A, so he's not put the ruler in the correct place. And let's just say that. So I just said the point A should be beside zero centimeters and not one centimeter, and the line is nine centimeters long. So let's have a look at question number two. So question number two says, measure the length of the line JK. So here's the line JK, and I've got my ruler, and I've put zero beside J. Now, ideally, I would like to get my ruler a little bit closer, but as you can see here, if I put the ruler too close, where I've got a little bit of white around my ruler, it actually makes the line disappear. So it, if I had a, a sort of a real ruler, and it was printed on the page, I would put it right next to the line. But unfortunately, in these in this video, I'm going to have to keep it a little bit away from the line. Um, but as you can see here, I've put in the zero, beside the J and it goes across to 11 centimeters. So the length of the line is 11 centimeters. Okay, question number three says, measure the length of the line CD. So I've put my zero beside the beginning of the line and whenever I go to the end of the line D, it reaches five centimeters. So it goes one, two, three, four, five centimeters. And so the answer would be five centimeters. Okay, question number four. Question number four says, draw a four centimeter line. So we're gonna draw a four centimeter line. So we're gonna start at zero so I put my ruler horizontally along the page and I'm gonna start at zero and I'm gonna draw a four centimeter line. So we start at zero and it'll go all the way to four, like so. So that is a four centimeter line and I'm just gonna write four centimeters beside it and I'm just gonna move my ruler so that I can see the line, and that's it. Okay, question number five. Okay, question number 5a. Question number 5a says, in the space below, draw a line that is 14 centimeters long. So again, put the pencil at zero and go all the way along the line to 14 centimeters, which would be there. So that's a 14 centimeter line. So that's our 14 centimeter line. And part B says, find the point that is halfway along the line and mark it with a cross X. So if that's 14 centimeters, half of 14 is seven. So we want to find the point that is seven centimeters along the line. So let's start at zero and go across to seven centimeters, which would be here. And let's put a cross there. So that would be the point that is exactly halfway along the line. Okay, question number six. Question number six says, measure the length of the line CD and give your answer in centimeters. So as you can see here, I'm actually just gonna move my ruler slightly in line with it to make sure the zero is in line with the beginning of the line at C there. And we're gonna measure the length of this line CD. So it starts at zero, it goes all the way across to nine. So it's nine centimeters. And part B says, mark with a cross the point on the line CD that is four centimeters away from C. So here's C, and we wanna mark the point that's four centimeters away from that point. So let's go across the four centimeters, which would be here, and put a cross. So that's the point that's on the line that is four centimeters away from the point C. Okay, question number seven. Okay, question number seven says, measure the length of the line EF. So we've got the line EF, we've got the zero at the top, and we're gonna go down, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight centimeters. So the length of that line is eight centimeters. So question number eight. Question number eight asks us to draw a 10.5 centimeter line. So we're gonna start at zero, and we're gonna go across to 10 centimeters. And now we want 10.5, so it's going to be 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, which is in the middle, which is there. So it's 10 centimeters and five more millimeters, or 10.5 centimeters. So that's it. So that's the line that is 10.5 centimeters. If it said 10.6, I would go on to the next little bit there. If it said 10.9, I would carry on to here, just short of 11. If it said 10.1, I would have just gone to the little line just one past the 10 and so on. So that's the 10.5 centimeter line, like so. Okay, question number nine. So question number nine A says, measure the length of the line AB. So here is the line AB. We're gonna put the zero at the beginning of the line here at A, and we're gonna go across and it's eight, and it goes past the middle, so it's 
8.6 centimetres long, or eight, you could alternatively write 86 millimetres. So either 8.6 centimetres or 86 millimetres. And part B says, on the diagram, mark with a cross the midpoint of AB. So we want to mark the midpoint of this line. So if we add 8.6 centimetres, if we divide that by 2, if we half it, that would be 4.3. So we're going to go across to 4, and then 4.1, 4.2, 4.3 would be there. So that would be 4.3 centimetres. And that's it. So that's the midpoint of the line. Okay, question number 10. So question 10 asks us to draw in the space below a line that is 62 millimetres long. So that is 62 millimetres, so 62 little dashes, and you can count them all if you want to, or 6.2 centimetres. So we're going to start at zero, and we're going to go across to six. So that's 60 millimetres, 61, 62. So that would be our 62 millimetre line. Okay, question number 11. Question number 11 says, shown below is triangle CDE. So this is the triangle CDE. And we've been asked to measure the length of the line CE. So we need to measure the length of the line CE. So as you can see, I've put the zero at the beginning of the line there. So we're going to go across. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine centimeters, 9.1, 9.2 I've got there. So that would be 9.2 centimeters. 9.2 centimeters is the length of the line CE. If we were asked to measure the line CD, the length of the side CD, we would measure that line. And if we were asked to measure the length of the side DE, we would measure that line. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. Question number 12. Question number 12, we've been given the line AB and we've been asked to measure the length of that line. Now it's a diagonal line, so you need to line your ruler up with it, with the zero at the beginning. Now, ideally I would get my ruler a little bit closer, but I can't on this. So we're going to start here, and we need to measure it in millimetres. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 centimetres. So that's 80 millimetres. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85. So the answer would be 85 millimetres. Okay, question number 13. So question number 13a says, what type of angle is angle X? Well, that is, it's bigger than 90, so it's an obtuse angle, but it's smaller than a straight line, so it's an obtuse angle. So it's an obtuse angle. Part B says, measure the length of the line DE. So we need to measure the length of the line DE. Now we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 centimetres. 8.1, 8.2, 8.3, 8.4, 8.5. So that's 8.5 centimetres. 8.5 centimetres. Just lining the ruler up with the zero at the beginning and we go across to 8.5 centimetres. Okay, question 14. I've put my rulers here to help me, but I'm just going to read the question to begin with. So we've got this triangle, and it's got A, and then it's got B, and then it's got C. So we've got A here, B here, and C here. And we've been asked to find the difference in length between the sides AB, so the length of that side, and AC. So we need to find the difference in the length of this line and this line. So in other words, we need to measure the length of this line, we need to measure the length of that line, and to find the difference, we take them away. And AC looks like it's going to be the biggest one. Let's measure AC to begin with. So AC equals, so let's, so we'll start here at zero. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine point one, nine point two centimeters. So that'd be nine point two centimeters. The line AB, so that's that line. If we write AB, that's equal to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight centimeters. And we've been asked to work out the difference between them. So we're going to do 9.2 take away 8. Well, 9.2 take away 8 would be 1.2. So 1.2 centimetres. So the difference in the length of those lines would be 1.2 centimetres. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. Question number 15. So shown below is a rectangle. So we've got this rectangle. And we've been asked to measure the length of the length of the rectangle and the width of the rectangle. So that's what we're asked to do here, measure the length and the width. So the length, if we do the length to begin with, we start at zero and we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way up to 10 centimeters. So that's 10 centimeters. And the width, that's going to be starting with zero, one, two, three, 3.1, 3.2, 3.4. It's in the middle, 3.5. So 3.5 centimeters. And part B says find the perimeter of the rectangle. So the perimeter is the distance around the outside of the rectangle. So we'll start here. There's going to be 10 centimetres and another 3.5 centimetres and then another 10 centimetres. Then we get back around to the beginning, another 3.5 centimetres. So we need to add 10, 3.5, 10 and 3.5. And that will give us the perimeter of this rectangle. So 10 plus 10 plus 3.5 plus 3.5. Now 10 plus 10 is equal to 20. 3.5 plus 3.5 is equal to 7, so we've got 20 plus 7, so that would be 27 centimetres. Question number 16. So here's question number 16, and part A says measure the length of the line GH. So we've got GHI, and we'll be asked to measure the length of the line GH, so that's that line. 
So starting with zero, so we've got one, two, three, four, five centimeters, and then it's in the middle, so it's gonna be five and a half, or 5.5 .5 centimeters, 5.5 .5 centimeters. And part B says measure the size of angle X. So we've been asked to measure the size of this angle X, so let's get our protractor, and let's put it on top of the angle. So I'm just putting the cross of the protractor on the point H where the two lines meet. And as you can see, you've got zero on the line here. So we start here at zero. So we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And then you've got 65 here, 66. To me, it looks like 67 degrees here. So it's going to be 67 degrees. It might be slightly different on your one. It just depends on how you've printed it and how it appears. So the answer was 67 degrees. Okay, our next question. Okay, let's have a look at our last question. So our last question says, question 17a, draw 16 centimeter line A, B in the space below. So it's always a good idea to have a 30 centimeter ruler. So one of those slightly longer rulers. I've only got a 15 centimeter one here on this display here, um, but ideally you would have a 30 centimeter one and then this would be nice and easy for you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a ruler and pencil and I'm gonna start here at zero and I'm gonna go from zero all the way to 15. And then I'm going to move my ruler along to the end put the zero on the end of the line, and I'm actually just gonna extend it another centimeter, so to there. Okay, so that is a 16 centimeter line, so 16 centimeter line. So let's label it as well, A, B. Okay, let's have a look at our next part, part B. Part B says, mark with a cross the point on the line AB that is three centimeters closer to B than the point A. So here we've got our line, and it is 16 centimeters long. We've been asked to draw the point that is three centimeters closer to B than A. Okay, and I've just carried on my ruler. I just made it 16 centimeters like so. And if I give that question to my students and I said, okay, here's a 16 centimeter line. Can you mark the point that's three centimeters closer to B than A? Then what some students might do is they might take the 18 centimeters and half it to get it. And if you consider the middle eight, then they would move three centimeters in closer to B than A here, and they would mark this point here. And that point is 11 centimeters from A. So if you look at zero, it's 11 centimeters from A, and it's only from 11 to 16, five centimeters from B. So the distance from that point to B is five centimeters, and the distance from that point to A is 11 centimeters. So that point is more than three centimeters closer to B than A. It's actually six centimeters closer to B than A. So what you would do in a question like this is actually, you would start off by doing the same point. You start off by finding the middle. So you'd find the middle of the line here, eight centimeters from A, and actually you'd move half the distance closer to B. So half of three centimeters is 1.5 centimeters. So we're gonna go one and another half here would be 1.5 centimeters and moving in 1.5 centimeters. And that point there, if we mark it with a cross, a big cross, that will be the point that is three centimeters closer to B from A, because what we're doing is, we're moving the point 1.5 centimeters away from A, and we're moving it 1.5 centimeters closer to B. So altogether, the point would be three centimeters closer to B from A. And let's just check it. The distance from A to that point would be nine and a half centimeters. And the distance from this point to B, well, it's a half a centimeter, and then another six centimeters, so that'd be six and a half centimeters. And as you can see, that point is three centimeters closer to B than A, because it's 6.5 centimeters from B, and it's 9.5 centimeters away from A. So that's it. So that's how I'd find the point that is three centimeters closer to B than A. I'd find the middle, I'd half that distance to get 1.5 centimeters, I'd move in 1.5 centimeters and mark the point on the line. And then I would just double check and see that it is actually in fact three centimeters closer to B than A. And that's it. So these have been the video solutions to the measuring lines and drawing lines practice questions on corporate maths. I really hope you found this video useful. If you have found it useful, please like it, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and thanks so much. Cheers, bye.